friends, happy Tuesday. We're going to start today um, with social studies. So we're going to do some social studies things and I'm going to switch over here so you can see these continents again. Do you remember how many continents there are in the world? Seven. There's seven continents, right? So there's North and South America and we live in North America, right? There's Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, and then Antarctica. Now, if you look at the front of your community booklet, you can see them. Each one is a different, a different color, and it kind of shows you some of the animals and some of the things that are famous in those different continents. So you can look at that, um, too. We're going to finish this booklet today. So in your booklet, I want you to turn to the page that says me and my community. Now, I wanna show you what you're going to do here, okay? So it says me in the middle. So you're gonna put your name there and then you pick a color that you wanna color that box with your name in it. And so it starts with us, then it gets a little bigger and it says, what school do you go to? Kalamazoo Christian, you can Ask your family how to spell it if you need to, but remember K-A-L-A-M-A-Z-O-O, -O, right, for Kalamazoo. So then pick a different color to color the school box and then where you wrote Kalamazoo Christian. So start with me, then my school, now it gets a little bigger, my city, and Kalamazoo, we'll write that one down, K-A-L-A-M-A-Z-O-O, -O. and then color the city and Kalamazoo, in a different color, okay? Then it gets a little bigger from city and it says, what state are we in? What state are we in? Michigan, right? So we're gonna write Michigan. You wrote that earlier in your book if you need to look how to spell that. Michigan, and then color that a different color. What country do we live in? The USA, or you can write United States, or you can write USA. And you could put that in. Now, it skips continent on here. We should have what continent are we in, which would be North America. But we skipped that one, and it goes right to the even bigger yet. What planet do we live on? Earth. That is our E-A in there, even though it doesn't make the E-A sound. E-A-R-T-H, Earth. And then color that a different color. So it'll look pretty cool. You start small with just you, and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So you can do that page, and then... Flip to the next page where it shows four directions. So you need to follow the map. Now, look at, there's a map key on here so you can see which one's the school, which one's the house, what's a store, and where's the park. So it says, Dear Pat, start at the school, go north, remember north is up, right? Nor never eat soggy wheat. And they have it written on there for you. Go north on James Road, go east on Main Street, stop at the park, meet me there, Dad. So what I want you to do is to, to take either a color or your pencil, you might want to start with a pencil in case you don't get mixed up, and start at the school, go north on James Road, go east on Main Street, and stop at the park. And I want you to show us that path. With your that you drew okay let's see if you could follow that path all right so you're gonna do that and then we'll take pictures of these two and then the very last page in your book is how do kids get to school in different communities so this has a bar graph which you're going to be working more in with math too but I always like graphs they're fun so bus car biking and walking the numbers down here are how many kids do those things to get to school so it says, how many children walk to school? Two or six? So look at the graph and circle. How many children take a bus? Ten or none? How many children ride bikes? One or two? And how do most of the children get to school? By bus or by car? So look at the graph and answer those questions and then um, upload those pages so you can send those to us, okay? Now, our writing is going to kind of go along with this topic of continents today. So 
your writing question that we're going to be having is what different continent would you like to visit and why? Hmm. So what we'd like you to do before you make your decision is we'd like you to go on Pebble Go. All right, so if you go to Pebble Go, and I did notice that they put a new dinosaur one on there. Um, so that's news. So you can check that out sometime when your parents say okay. But for now, we're going to go to this one, Social Studies. So click on that. If you go to up here, it'll be it's the second one. And it has a world globe, and it says continents, and it has them at different colors. And how many continents do we have? Seven, and it lists all seven here. So now North America is where we live. So you can look at that one, but you can't pick that one because that's where we already live. So you got to pick a different continent. So if you want to look at, okay, what's Australia like? I know that uh, Meadow's been doing some uh, research on Australia. And it can read you about Australia here. And you can hear about, kind of about it. There's you can The climate is like, what's the weather like there? Climate. Okay, you can look about the landforms. Like, what does the land look like land there? Forms. Animals. Animals you might find there. And then, it even tells you a little bit about living, living there. Living in Australia. So do some, do some research on the different continents and decide where do you think you might want to visit and tell us why in your journal. And then write that in your journal, snap a picture of it, and have your parents upload that so we can see your awesome writing. Remember, capitals and periods. Okay. Awesome. Can't wait to see your writing.